I was watching last night with Russell Wilson. You know, yeah. a year ago, they're 12 and four, Marcus. And we're letting Russ cook. People are talking about MVP. Now they're three and eight. How's this going to end? Russ is out of there, VP. You can see it. I even said it this morning, man, when, when I was going it up. Is when you, like the tone in that press conference after the game said a lot to me emotionally. It looks like Russ is spent. It looks like Pete Carroll is spent. And listen, it's been a great run, but things run their course. You know, I'm an LSU fan. When Les My- when it was time for Les Miles to go, it was time. It didn't mean that he didn't have an amount of success at LSU, but it was time to go. And that's what it looks like to me. It's almost similar to what we see with the Pittsburgh Steelers. Last year, they start running off wins early in the season, and you can start to see it tell off. And now we're coming back to the conclusion that they held on to being probably too long. This team is not really built to facilitate a veteran quarterback going and having an opportunity to win a Super Bowl. So with Russ, you look at Seattle, and yeah, they have some talent. Like Mick have the talent. Tyler Lock is talented. Um, the offensive line has their issues, which he addressed. Defensively, brother, they can't stop a damn nosebleed defensively. So when you when you think about Russ, you think about these quarterbacks that's competing for championships. Aaron Rodgers is going to be right back in the mix. Um, Tom, obviously, in Tampa, right back in the mix. You look at these situations with these veteran guys, and they got to get around teams – that really has a great setup and great coaching and offensive philosophy. And we've been throwing it out there. And and the Saints, to me, would be a good location because of the synergy that I believe he would have with Sean Payton, not to throw Jameis to the wolves. He was doing fine, but Russ is an absolute upgrade. But to me, it just felt like like, like finality after losing to the Washington football team. And then from a game breakdown standpoint, D.P., how vanilla and generic was that offensive plan? Like, it was it, – you line up D.K. Metcalf in the same spot. You can't get him targets. We see the deep throws to Tyler Lockett. Uh, everybody gets excited about that. But in what world does a Russell Wilson-led offense not have the ability to put up 24 points in a game to be able to win the football game? But, Marcus, and you can't would convert you, third down. Would you move on from Pete Carroll – if it meant you could keep Russ in Seattle? Yes. If Russ told me that we needed, I need to have a new infusion of offensive philosophy and a different way to approach it, absolutely. Because, listen, I love Pete Carroll. Pete Carroll, one of my favorite coaches. But what I was saying earlier, DP, he's ran his course in Seattle, man. And, And his philosophy doesn't seem to be taking hold there. And we got to let the Legion of Boom go, brother. We got to let it go. Uh, It's not there anymore. This team offensively is very generic. They don't have the same run game they had with Marshawn and the things. I don't think people realize how good the Seattle Seahawks were (laughs) when they were winning Super Bowls. And we've gotten so accustomed to Russ making up for the things that they lacked and still being able to play at a very high level. This team hasn't really been – what you would consider, even last year, you you brought it up 12 and 4, but did we really think they were a Super Bowl contender? I don't think at one point I said the Seattle Seahawks are a Super Bowl contender. It was all about letting Russ cook and how good he looked. But ultimately, I think this thing has just ran its course. And if Pete goes and they get the right type of guy, potentially it could keep Russ there. But Russ, his family life, all of those things I think are going to factor into him maybe wanting to change locations. 